Okay world, how you doing? Uh, OCRefrigeration.com here. Um, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully you can see all the green lights and stuff on everything here. I can't. I'm back to using my little camera. Um, this is a Nikon Coolpix uh, S's and Sam 6300, I believe it is. Hang on a second here. Uh, yeah, I believe it is. Yeah. Um, anyways, this is uh, the iPhone 6S Plus. Uh, I got it January of this year. Um, so anyways, hopefully this comes out because I can't see shit on this uh, screen from this little camera after looking at the big screen on the using the 6S Plus for videos. Anyways, so everything's all hooked up. Um, uh, I finally put the Smart Probe app on my phone, uh, my regular phone, because I uh, just I I really like this 905i, and this thing is just really cool. Um, and I would just real I just really wanted to use it, you know, like really easily to have because I always have my phone in my pocket, so. That way I always have, there's the 905 right there, um, and then I could just go to the basic, that's basic view, and in the refrigeration view, it shows up on the bottom here, on the bottom corner, and I believe if you got another 905 or something else, it would show up down here. I think that's the maximum amount of probes. If you guys know if you can hook up any more than, uh, what do we got? Five here. I think six is the max. Um, so anyhow, um, I haven't read anything in any of the literature that says what the max hookup is. I think I don't know. Um, so anyhow, but uh, I guess we figured out the issue with the 400 series probes. 400 series on the refrigerant that it's doing. Uh, dew point and bubble and all that kind of shit so anyways um so glad everybody uh, figured that out that's pretty cool um but just wanted to say that uh yeah don't have any problem hooking up all five probes with the uh apple stuff my my uh apple my my old phone my five my iphone five uh i can still use and everything hooks up the only thing I'm having a problem with is, I don't know if any of you guys can help me out with it, um, my Android pad, um, I can only hook, it'll only hook up to three probes, any three, um, but that's all it'll do, uh, it just won't, and I think it, it's probably a limitation of the cheap ass pad, is what it, what I'm thinking, um, so, if you guys want to, uh, if you got any, uh, if any of you guys have run into the same issue and have a solve for that, that would be freaking awesome. Because uh, I like my big pad. Uh, works good with the 905 again for in the walk-in coolers and it's just bigger, you know. So, anyhow, um, just wanted to say that, yeah, all five of this stuff um, works out fine um, on the Apple products. Um, the only thing, like I said, I'm having a problem with is the, uh, Android. So, um, and I've got the latest app in here. This is version, let me see if I can, version 4.7. Uh, I don't know how good this is coming out. I hope it comes out good. I'm, I used to see that Apple, man. I kind of got spoiled, man, with the clarity of that Apple. Um, going back to Nikon, it's like, man, and yeah, I thought Nikon was the shit before. Anyways, um, so anyways, R134A, we can go to that. There we go. So since R134A is a pure fluid, um, you know, I guess our pressures are equal. That's what the deal, we're, I guess we're figuring this out. So, which is cool, and I got a, this is the temp down here, um, so what this video was, sorry I got off track, what this video I wanted to make is, uh, what this is about, 
is I'm going to turn off the pressure probes right here um, because I wanted to see how close um, the temperature probes, the, the 115 eyes, are to my 905 eye. I wanted to see, uh, you know, how good the calibration is right out of the box from the factory and all that kind of good stuff. And also for the future, for every, you know, every few months or whatever, you probably ought to throw them all together and make sure that all your temperature clamps are reading the same. So you don't have one that's out of the ballpark. So um, digital. Uh, so we got everything here. We got the 905i, 115 eyes over here. It's a Christmas party with the green lights here. Um, and I got 74, 73 and a half, and 73.2. So uh, the 905 is the that's the top one. The 585 is uh, so, um, and with digitals and from I've done temperature calibration all my life and stuff like that, calibrating to the National Bureau of Standards. Uh, digital is only you're only going to get plus or minus two degrees uh, unless you're spending thousands of dollars on digital equipment. Can you get any closer than that? So any if it's plus or minus two, you ought to always just call it two call it good you know um, that's come from a guy that's been doing this since 1981 and I did thermal shock and environmental test equipment for like seven years straight just calibrating stuff for Hughes aircraft and Rockwell and so I've done a lot of calibration uh, so stuff that's you know and their meters were about 600 bucks and they were only good plus or minus two for Hughes aircraft so just to give you an idea of what's what so anyways so uh, these probes have been sitting here for a little bit so looks like they're within a degree of each other uh, so the two temp clamps are real close to each other uh, which are the bottom two um, so we got 73.5 and 73.7 or 8, you know, so within three tenths of a degree of each other, which is awesome. And then the 905i, which is a totally different kind of thing, you know, this is, uh, I, I don't believe they're thermocouples. Um, uh, I gotta, I forget what these are. Anyways. Uh, they look like a thermocouple on the end, but they're uh, ne NTC, I think, the negative temperature coefficient, something different, so I forget. Anyways, um, so that one's reading 40, 74 and a half, so that's, uh, that's with a, within a half a degree of, because uh, basically the other ones are pretty closer. Within a half a degree to a degree, so the 73 point something versus 74 point something. So, uh, you know, um, the air conditioning's not on in the house right now. It just shut off a little bit ago. So that's why the temperature's rising. Um, I'm beside a window here. So, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to see how close the temperature clamps were. And so they're close enough for me, within a degree or two, good enough for me. So anyways, um, that's what I wanted to make, that's what this video is all about. And also, I might as well show you too, um, with the, on the iPhone, man, the new, this, this iPhone 6S Plus, uh, hooking up the hookup on the, basically it's one, two, three on these on these probes when everything you hit the button one two three blinks and you got a green light that's how you know you're pretty much you know good to go and that's uh pressure probes and i'm on the basic view right now excuse me oh it says basic view up on the top up up there um so um 
I like to hook them up on basic view first and then just run over to whatever I want to run over to AC refrigeration um, I'm on that one now um, okay and boom everything uh, shows up so we're on 134A right now and that's cool so now I've got this on my phone instead of on my old phone where I would have to bring in my old phone and the battery kinda the reason I got the new phone is because the battery on the old phone I had it for three years uh, the iPhone 5 I had for three years so the batteries are only the good life of a of a cell phone battery is a thousand cycles for one of these lithium batteries uh, which is basically there's 365 days in a year so you figure 369 that's you know three years thousand cycles charging it once every day so your batteries on these iPhones are only good for one year for three years excuse me three years uh, your phones are good for that's it then your batteries are time for replacement so uh, okay uh, thanks for watching and uh, click like on the video please and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Thanks very much, guys, and have a good weekend. Bye.